Hello and welcome to Marka's videocast. Here's a quick look at how GCC firms have fared in the first quarter of 2012. Total GCC earnings in 1Q12 came in at 14.6 billion USD, an increase of 45% of the fourth quarter of 2011, while year-on-year -year growth was 4%. However, adjusting for the one-time fair value gain of 959 million USD in Watania's earnings in 2011, GCC corporate earnings had grown at 12% in 1Q12. Our report on corporate earnings discusses trends in earnings across the Gulf states over the last six quarters and highlights 1Q12 earnings at the country and sector levels. Which were the key companies that drove sectoral performance? How have long-term earnings trends been in the GCC and which are the sectors that failed to impress? The Saudi Arabian banking and telecom sectors held up corporate earnings growth with the kingdom's incomes recording a 15% growth year on year. Profits were a good 28% higher on a quarter on quarter basis. Kuwait corporate incomes recovered after three consecutive quarters of decline, while the UAE reported the highest earnings in the last 10 quarters. Sequential earnings growth received a thrust due to better performance from KSA, Kuwait and the UAE. GCC earnings were largely driven by banks and real estate companies, while commodity earnings dropped 8% year on year due to a correction in prices. After a dismal performance in 2011, the telecom sector recorded a growth of 11% quarter on quarter, settling at 2.1 million USD. Earnings visibility was 85%, with 568 companies out of a total of 668 having released first quarter results at the time of release of our report which corresponds to a 98% coverage in terms of market cap. To get a finer view of the GCC company's profitability, you could download the corporate earnings report from emarmore.com. After all, as Chinese philosopher Zhu believes, everyone is born with a liking for profit. Thank you.